Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I need to dissect the gold to make it better. Here's um, the ureter, the really big diameter um, vessel. We're going to see it's going to go in. It. And this is the renal hilus, the synthena region where the renal vessels are going to enter and leave. Um, the ureters, lymphatic vessels, things like that. Okay, um, and you guys don't have to worry about identifying renal artery or vein on the actual kidney. Just do like a ureter. Okay, um, see how it's stained? Where it's the stained um, blue and red here. This outer region is the cortex. That's where the nephrons are all going to be. On there, yeah, they have the other red part. Yeah, and you can see how see how it changes right here. And it's darker. That's all medulla, the inner part. Okay. So remember, the nephrons are either in the very outer, outer cortex or at the boundary of cortex and medulla. So that's why you don't see anymore. You don't see blue or red inside here anymore. Where it's all white like this, this is all renal pelvis. So when the ureter comes in, it kind of fans out. And this is all the renal pelvis. You can kind of see a little bit of renal pyramids, like there's one, a little bit. They're, but you can kind of see them to an extent. So the, the actual kidneys, it's they vary how well they're prepared. So you know you're not gonna see all these structures on on, on the kidney here. So I could ask you like ureters, renal hilus is good, cortex, medulla, you know, maybe a renal pyramid, and then renal um, pelvis. Those are the main things I could ask for the actual kidney. Okay. So make sure you guys look at the models over there and then the pictures because they show like all the other internal structures like really well. Actually, there's some really good models.